Hello, my name is Leonardo and I'm from Maximo Con, a consultancy company specialized in IBM Maximo. On today's video, I'm gonna show you two applications inside administration resources. I'm talking about people and person group. First, I'm gonna show you the people application and how it relates to the person groups. And after that, I'm just gonna go to the work order tracking and select a person group so you can understand one of the uses of this group of people, okay? So first, I'm gonna create a new record here a new person record and I'm gonna use my name, my data here and the display name is the sum of first name and last name. If I save the record here, I can see quickly this being updated. I have other useful information that it's important to have inside your system if you are managing your personnel inside Maximo, you can use, for example, the address information with the country. Another very important information here is the primary email. I'm not sure if I'm using this email already. Let me check. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm saying that because if I try to put the same email address in two different person records, I cannot because this must be unique. Uh, but I can have a secondary email address, for example, but usually you only have one, right? But uh, it's possible to do the same with the phone number. I can have a primary phone number here. I can put my mobile here i can select the type let's say work phone and my record is here it's saved already i did not put my address information but you know uh, what is it for we have here other useful information the employee you can put the title the job code uh, the job code as you can see this is a max demo a database you can customize this value list with anything that you need. If you don't know how to, we have videos about that in your channel. Uh, but of course, optionally, you can hire a consultant or a consultancy company to assist you with small tweaks in the system. And the same goes for the employee type. As you can see, we have type one and type two. Uh, there is no actual use for that currently, but you can uh, create distinguished queries to search inside the person record table. You can put supervisor, the person site. Let's say that I'm from Bedford and this is my person site. It doesn't mean that this is my user site. This is very different because your user site, if you are both a person and a user, you have the user site that is used to insert and fetch data inside the system. But this is basically the original site of this person, okay? Workspace information. We have the ship to address, bill address, language, locale, uh, time zone, calendar, type, email format. You can put a picture here. You can add, update the picture of the person. And here we have workflow and work order information. I'm not getting to details about workflow here, but one of the uses of person combined inside a person group is to use inside a workflow. I'm just gonna mention, this is not the goal of this video, but the person group, I'm gonna get there in a minute, okay? We have also important dates that you can put here and procurement card, this is very, very rarely used. I'm not talk, mention in details all the attributes that you have on our screen because this is a lot. And we have this status. You cannot uh, put inactive status if you are using this person. Case, but in my case here, I could easily change this status because this is a new record, keep it active. And the second application is on administration, resources, person groups. If I just hit enter, we have sample data here. For example, maintenance group. If I click here, I have John Hunter and Mike Wilson. You can also put alternates for 
Let's say that uh, John Hunter is on vacation, annual leave. You can put the alternate person here. And every group needs the sequence. This could be used as a way of prioritizing the responsible for a given work. And you need a group default as well. As you can see, John Hunter is our group default. I can add myself here as a, the third person. Another very important information here is that you can put the organization, you can put the site, or you can save, let me put the sequence here, or you can save the record without it. That means that this user, this person, sorry, not this user, these are very different um, concepts. We, I'm talking about person. If you hear me say user, please understand as person, okay? Let's say that I have here, uh, I have John Hunter and Mike Wilson, both for Bedford. That means that they will be used in Bedford site only. For my person here, I gonna use it for the entire system because I'm not restricting to org or site but if i want to do so i need to delete my record because as you can see both uh, fields here are read only you can see the dotted line below i can save it new row again let's say that i want to use uh, this person for eagle north america not user person and the sequence is three and okay now we have three people here in this person group this can be used for example in a work order. Let me show you quickly here the work order tracking application. I still cannot save. I did something in a previous video that I removed this new record button, but this is not a problem. Let me just improvise here and use the waiting approval. I relocate guardrails around compressor. And down below here, I have work group you can always use out plus f1 to see what the attribute is for of course you not always get the information that you need but as i mentioned in uh, the maximum tips video you can use the help here okay it will open a new window showing help about the application you can use the context help here if i select any work group here let's say the maintenance group I have me as the leader here, as you can see, it was automatically added to the leader of the work order. And if I change the group, let's say this work order is the responsible group for this is the facilities group. Himes is the leader. And this can be basically the responsibility of this work execution. And there is a very important difference that I need to mention to you between users persons and labor you can have a user you can have a labor they always need let me go back here now let me go through the work other application let me go to this application again we are in the people application and we have here tony himes tony himes it's a person record. He can be a user in the system. He can be a labor that will perform work. Maybe he's only a person, which uh, does not necessarily mean that it should be related to the user or the labor record. But the user record and the labor record both need a person so the person is required so you need to create a person my suggestion if you are uh, new to maximum if maximum is new to your organization my suggestion is for you to use the same name as you have in the person labor and user this will make things a lot easier when doing some configuration inside your system let's say okay um, going back to the work order application here another use a very good use I, I, I mean the usual utilization of person groups or work groups whatever you prefer are within workflow process I don't have any workflow here to demonstrate it to you now but let's say that you have a group of planners and you wrote the workflow to the group of planners. That means, let's say that you have five people inside that group. Any of those five people, they could get 
the assignment and carry on with the work, okay? With the work order inside the system. This is, from my knowledge, this is the main way where you can use groups with person groups. As I say before, you don't have to relate a person group to a user or to a labor. You should use, um, if you are talking about workflow, right with workflow related to users you need the user with the person record and you can use person groups as assignments for this work to be carried out okay so basically that's it i hope this video was not very confusing it should not be because i'm talking about very simple concepts uh which uh, is person and person groups and the relationship between those records. But if you have any questions at all, please let me know. You can reach MaximoCon through email or phone. We have our phone number, we have our email in the description below. And please like the video if you think it was useful and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this one, okay? Thank you very much for your audience and see you next time.